hospital helped to prove a watershed moment for medicine. Although fears over human cloning could make so-called people printing hard to sell, as Marina Port Nair explains. Major universities, corporate laboratories, and biomedical engineers are printing experimental heart valves, knee cartilages, bone implants, kidney cells, and even healing tissue. Now, 3D bioprinting essentially squirts ink of living cells to build up tissue structure. Eventually, biomedical engineers hope to print out tailored tissue suitable for surgery and entire organs that can be used in transplants. Uh, experts say that I Ideally, they would like to uh, create organs for uh, those that are on lists waiting for organs uh, in, and possibly, you know, in, in life uh, circumstances, in dire life circumstances. So pioneers of this bioprinting believe it will be a huge benefit to, to the public and to the medical community. So I could essentially use photographs of you and then create a 3D image of you, which is quite scary because this with these three 3D printing, uh, it, we don't know how far it will go, how far it will develop. And to know that a, a stranger can find uh, a, a piece of your hair or your cigarette butt if you smoke or a glass that you drank out of or even a few pictures of you and create a 3D facial structure of you is, is a bit terrifying. I mean, forget about surveillance and, and privacy issues. Knowing that a stranger could do something like that of you, uh, it, it doesn't... I I mean, it, it doesn't keep a, a, a sense of calm uh, within the public. And this is just the start of it. Who knows how it will develop five years from now? Maybe a person can be cloned or a per person can be replicated between their photographs, between the, the hair and their DNA, and between the, uh, and also add to that the virtual identity that most people have created for themselves online through social media, through uses of Skype, through email. Essentially, there's a footprint of someone everywhere, be it through your hair or your activity right. online. And that could essentially be duplicated with all this new software and technology that's pioneering right now. Quick look at some other world news now, starting with the ongoing violence in Syria.